Alice Beach, Saskatchewan. That's where we are today. Just uh, working on one of our towers here. We actually acquired this site last fall. So we've been trying to get it in the queue to, to get some network upgrades done. Last week, we hung a new backhaul antenna on it, some ubiquity wave equipment to do short distance stuff right from the tower. And today we are installing a new Tirana 5 gigahertz BN on the top and then running the, uh, the power cables down into the cabinet. So not a whole lot of gear going on today, but uh, we got a crane out. Um, we're gonna take a man basket up, uh, mount the, uh, the antenna mount to the tower, get the antenna hung on that, and then attach the cables and, and tie them all down and plug them in the cabinet and we should be good. So currently with this tower, we have the Cambium EPMP five gigahertz line on it. That's the, the uh, tower to customer system. And what we're doing is we're switching over to Tirana because there are quite a few sectors on this tower that are loaded up and have a lot of customers on them. So we want to be able to scale it a lot more, be able to put more customers on it as well, deliver faster speeds to the end clients. So what we'll be doing is after we get this BN online, going and switching out as many customers as we can over to the Tirana, and then we'll be decommissioning the Cambium equipment. And that's just gonna give us more capacity and, and make it a lot easier to grow in these communities. One of the struggles that we're running into uh, with the Cambium line and as well, obviously a lot of the ubiquity stuff is the tree penetration. Uh, once we get out into these lake communities, there's they're usually well-established neighborhoods and they have big trees and so we need to increase our customer base not just by who can see the tower but by who we can actually reach and so that's partly the other reason why we're switching over to the Tirana system um, because these houses aren't very far from the tower and it's going to basically increase our potential customer base probably by about 70 percent so it's it's a large increase and and it justifies the cost in upgrading the system. This tower is located right beside Alice Beach, actually on the Robertson Campground property. And obviously we service the community of Alice Beach and we too a little bit further up. But the other thing we do is serve the campground. And we're in the process of setting up a ubiquity wave access point, which is a 60 gigahertz antenna. And that's gonna be feeding some different sites on the campground where we're going to have Wi-Fi access points to distribute to the campers. So it's not a system that we typically set up and it's something we're experimenting with to just give a better user experience in the campground and uh, once we kind of get that system built out and robust we're going to be rolling that out into three or four more campgrounds in this area. So the cabinets on these sites um, they're full DC power supplied um, so we have our battery banks down low uh, we have our ICT distribution panel which has the breakers for the various electronics uh, and then we got our switching equipment and this cambium switch actually powers all of the sectors up on the tower and then we have uh, just a shelf with some of the poe injectors to do a few of the other radios and then an inverter here to power ac power for the devices that need ac so we're we're going to be right now temporarily powering that new bn that we set up off of a ac to dc converter and then we're going to eventually be putting in some new breakers in this ict panel to power it directly from the dc power um, and that just gives us more efficiency so you get better runtime on the battery because you don't have that dc to ac and back to dc conversion which is very power hungry and uh, yeah that's basically a pretty standard setup at these sites